Florida's 29 electoral votes are a crucial prize in the quest for 270. For more, let's bring in CBS News political correspondent Ed O'Keefe live from Times Square. Ed, good morning. Good to see you. So what's the top thing you'll be watching for tonight as the polls close? Well, we're watching Florida, of course. I don't just say that because I'm talking to you guys. It's obviously one of the biggest prizes early in the night. And 20 years after the recount, you guys have figured out how to count quickly because you've been processing those ballots that have been sent in already early. So that will hopefully give the country an early sense of where things could be headed. It is considered by the Biden campaign the capstone of their race to 270. If they can win it and snatch it from the president, Donald Trump probably only gets four years. But if the president wins, the Sunshine State could be a longer, more interesting night uh, and one that results in a far closer election. We'll see. The fact that you've seen so many different people, the candidates themselves, their friends and family come to the state, it's a sign yet again of how important Florida is when it comes to presidential races. And practice makes perfect. I think Florida's got it together right now. And so how do you see the race in Florida actually turning out? It's a jump ball. Uh, look, you know, it's a day that ends in Y. Florida's holding a close statewide contest. That's how it is. That's just the way uh, it goes. And, um, you know, uh, we you look at the, the number of ballots that have been cast early. Democrats have some concerns that perhaps not enough of their people showed up early. But you all have a great tradition of voting on Election Day down there. A lot of people do it, but prefer to do it on Election Day, so that's perhaps no surprise. We'll be watching South Florida, obviously. We'll also be watching Central Florida. Who can pull it off there between Tampa and, and Daytona along the I-4 corridor? Uh, the Biden campaign believes they'll do very well around Orlando. That might help lift them. Remember, four years ago, Hillary Clinton won Miami-Dade, you know, cleaned up in South Florida, but couldn't win the state because she didn't do as well in other parts of it. The Biden campaign has put an emphasis on Central Florida, on trying to cut into the president's advantages with senior citizens across the state, believing that they'll be able to do that. And if they can, that could be just the right mix to pull it off. And Ed, quickly, what's the closing arguments we've heard from President Trump and Joe Biden in the closing days? Well, let's put it this way. If at the end of today, exit polls show us that more voters were concerned about, uh, came to vote because of the pandemic, that likely benefits Vice President Biden. If at the end of the day across the country, more voters said it was about the economy, rebuilding it and focusing on it, then that probably is to the advantage of the president because that's basically been their focus. The pandemic versus the economy, voters will make the decision. And hopefully, by this time tomorrow, at least, Mary Bell, we'll have a sense of who is president. Hopefully, and we can get some sleep, right, Ed? Thank you. Sleep? What sleep? <laughs> We'll never have sleep. Take we'll care. be up for 24 hours, pulling an all-nighter. Not too bad. All right, thank you.